every once in a while things just get a little crooked. And that's the way life is, right? Things get a little crooked. Anyhow, good morning. How is everyone today? It is another Saturday, October 10th. And um, how's everybody doing? I am, um, oh gosh, always, always things a little crazy in the Lale world. Um, anyhow, things are good. Um, Today, we will be doing another listing session. So uh, last weekend, during our session, I asked a question on um, which people preferred, the listing or the um, memory keeping in a traveler's notebook. Uh, and I kind of, I, I got the responses of what I think I would have. I think the majority of the people um, really like the listing. Now, a lot of you said, oh, I love both. And a few of you said, oh my gosh, I love the, the memory, the memory keeping in a traveler's notebook. So I think what we're going to do is we will probably do three uh, list with me live sessions every month, and then we'll do one uh, memory keeping in a traveler's notebook. But and I'll let you guys know this: if you've been with me for a while, a lot of times I incorporate photos into my list making. So some of the sessions will be kind of a hybrid of memory keeping and or list making. So. Um, I think you guys know too, if you've been with me for a while, that a lot of the things that we cover and talk about and the things that I do really work well for both list making and for memory keeping. So uh, that's what our plan is today. Um, I always, always, always ahead of time. Now ahead of time sometimes is late in the evening on Friday night and um, that's what happened this time. Um, but I will post on my blog the topics, also a link to our session for the next day, for Saturday. So um, I also send that information out in an email and post it on social media. So one of those ways, um, you should be able to always have that information ahead of time, even if it's, you know, Saturday morning uh, before we start. So um, I have included lots of information in the description of the video down below. Um, in that, I always include a link to the blog post so you know what the topics are. If you're watching the replay and you want to know what the topics are before we start, then you can click over to that. The other thing that I've added this time, I've put together a playlist here on my YouTube channel and I have linked to that in the description of the video as well. And that takes all of the listing sessions that we've done and puts them in one playlist. So if you really, really, really like listing and you've missed some of them, you can just click that and it will take you right to that playlist where you will see all of the listing videos that we've done. And that goes all the way back to um, the middle of March when we started. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, you guys, I have lots of, I've added lots of new products this last week to the website. So I have included links to a bunch of those in the description of the video as well. Um, you guys, lately, I never know, things, sometimes things come in almost as fast as they get here. So um, when I can, I do reorders. And in some cases, I just can't get reorders in fast enough. Uh, one of the reorders that has just come in this week, I did a full reorder again on all of the Avenue products. So the Avenue 6x8 pad, there are three different die cut packs with that. There is a regular icon, there's a flower, and then there's also um, a kind of titles and phrases. So those are all back in stock as well. Whew, okay, so um, let's go ahead. Oh, I know. Um, if you guys like what you're seeing, please thumbs up. The thumbs up is so important, I can't even tell you. Uh, thumbs up, and then um, if you are watching the replay, if you would leave me a comment. Just let me know that you're here. Let me know if you've been listing for a long time. Uh, let me know where you live. Let me know what your favorite food is, whatever. Just so I know that you're here. Um, there was one more thing I just was thinking about. Oh, I know. Um, if if you're watching live, there's a live chat happening over on the right hand side of the screen. And I can see lots. I see lots of things um, coming through. I know, Karen, you're always my good one for reminding people for thumbs up. I so appreciate that. Um, I see lots of chat happening. I've missed, I've missed it uh, because it's hard for me to uh, talk and then read at the same time. Um, but I will go back and watch later because I like to see what you guys are saying. Anyhow, live chat taking place on the right hand side of the screen. I've recently learned you do not have to have a YouTube login to participate in that live chat. So if you want to pipe up and say hi, please pipe up and say hi. It's a wonderful group of ladies 
um, that are always kind of participating in the chat. Everyone's super friendly. If you have questions as we're going, if you'd like to post them in the chat, if you are watching live, sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. So if I miss your question, um, don't be afraid to ask again. And if I miss your question again, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just that, you know, whatever else is going on. So if I miss it, you can leave a comment um, after the fact, and then I will be notified of that for sure. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and we're going to flip the camera. We're going to turn on the lights um, and then we'll get going. So let's flip. Hi, Mimi. I just happened to see you there. Wee! Ooh, that's, that was interesting. Usually that's a really smooth um, when we flip. All righty, now I also need to um, just bring this up on my iPad so I can see what you guys are seeing make sure that everything looks nice and good and clear and oh i know what i i just remembered i just remembered what i forgot to do um hi gr wake house i am in utah yes i am in um, a city called cottonwood heights that is a suburb of salt lake so welcome saint george welcome gr wake house um all right friends so we're gonna do a little bit of show and tell first um, someone sent me a message earlier this week and they said, Hey, would you please show how one of your lists turned out? And I thought, you know what? I really should start doing. I know Kim, I'm so sorry. I, Kim, I think you've seen it all. Maybe. Um, so, um, she said, Hey, I would love to see how you finished that list from last week. And I thought, you know what? That's a really good idea. So I think what I will start doing is the beginning of every Saturday, we'll just really quickly look, um, we'll really quickly look at the lists from the prior week so you can see what they looked like when I finished them. So with that said, um, let's see, let, now I have to remember what we did last week. I think this is what we did. <laughs> oh, heavens. All right, we did three lists last week. The first one was Women I Admire. And this list, I think I finished it while we were live. So there's probably really nothing new to see there unless you were not there. And now you can see what that list looked like. I had a ton of questions about where I found this. So this, I just, if you Google um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and then you uh, click on images, this was an image I found. Um, I right clicked on it, saved it to my phone and then printed it out like a photo. Now here's the thing. Um, this is obviously not my art, and um, I did not purchase it. Um, I think you could buy like a print or something like to go on your wall. So I am just using this entirely for personal use. I am not selling that. I am not I'm encouraging you to, um, to get that or to buy that. I am just saying that is where I found that because a lot of you had questions. Um, and that's, you guys, a lot of times I joke when we're talking about photos, I always joke that I have the most amazing photographer friend in the world, and that is Google, right? So a lot of times I can jump on Google and search for a photo of something. Maybe I'm doing a list about uh, my favorite things of fall, and I love fall leaves, but I didn't have a chance to get a photo of fall leaves. Well, if I go to Google and search for, you know, fall leaves, I will find millions of photos with fall leaves, and then I would just find the one I wanted, right click, save it to my um, right click if I'm on a computer. Um, if I'm on my phone, I would just click it. Anyhow, right click, save it, and then I'd print it out like I would normally print out my photos. Melissa, you have the same photographer friend. I know, aren't we so lucky? I feel so like blessed that Google is my photographer friend. Um, that's one of my little tricks. I never pass photos like that though off as my own. Okay, um, so the next one, this one, was nicknames and I had a lot of fun with this. Hi Jules from Down Under. Mimi, you're not on social media. Oh, well there we go, good. So I always forget, I always just assume everyone's on social media. So um, I will for sure start showing what um, we did the prior week. Uh, so this was nicknames, I had so much fun with this. These were just nicknames of um, different people in my family. I think I will probably end up doing a, a follow-up to this one and maybe telling the stories about some of those names. So that's a really good example of where our listing kind of starts to morph a little bit into memory keeping because we're telling stories at the same time. Um, oh, I know, I needed to show you guys something. Um, I think it was Karen, Karen with the Y. 
Karen Haynes, I think you asked me about this. So if you happened to tune in last week, um, when I started this list, um, I'm using the new listed stamps um, that are now up for pre-order again um, on my website. But when I drew my little boxes on both of these boxes, I drew the lines through them. And I'm like, oh shoot, you guys remember that? I'm like, that doesn't work. I just drew a line where the clip is supposed to be. And so we talked about white out and I grabbed some white out a little like, you know, a little thing like this, much smaller for white out. And it just didn't really work. And I said, you know what? I'm going to come back to that. I'll fix it later. So after the fact, I was reading some of the comments in the chat and somebody, some brilliant woman said, why don't you use a white pen? And I went, oh my gosh, well, I have a white pen. Um, I have this little white jelly roll pen. You guys, literally all I did, and I'm going to try to get this really close, but you probably won't even still be able to see it. I just like literally drew white right over I think it's, yeah, it's gonna be too fuzzy. You won't be able to see it up close. Anyhow, I literally just drew white right over those lines. I promise you, I did not redo this whole spread. So that was, I thought, a genius, a genius solution. And I just happened to have a white pen. So um, I know, right? Um, Mandy, you, you seriously can't even notice. So um, I was super happy about that. I meant to... Um, link in the description of the video to that white pen. So I will make a note to um, to do that after the fact in case you need a white pen. All right, so then this was the third one. This one uh, we started about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, uh, every month doing a list about last month. Um, and I joked because about last month, that came from uh, one of the movies that was big when I was in um, when I was in high school called I think it was called about last night with Demi Moore and Rob Lowe. Anyhow, I thought, oh, about last month, that would be a great way to just kind of recap what happened the prior month. Now, when we finished this list last week, I um, I had not added any photos. If you guys remember this page, it had some things down here, but this page was blank other than I did write on pencil, don't do anything here, add photos because I kind of messed up on that before. So you guys, this is what I did. I came in, I used my little Epson Picture Mate printer. Um, I linked, I checked this morning. I always check before we start to see if the price has dropped on Amazon and it's, I don't know, it's dropped maybe three or $4 this week. But I use um, my Epson Picture Mate printer and I printed those photos. This, you guys, is just one four by six photo. So on one four by six photo through the free app that comes with that Epson Picture Mate printer, I literally just said, hey, I want a photo that will put, um, I want to be able to put six two by twos on one four by six and then print it out as a four by six. But because I knew I had already started, um, when we finished last week, I had a small cluster of things down here. So I knew when I put this photo together that I didn't want anything to go in this spot because I knew I wanted some of the embellishments to kind of come up this spot to tie more in what we had going on over here. So this way I kind of have a visual triangle. I have stuff up here, brings us down here and brings us over here. So that visual triangle helps to kind of pull both of those pages together. Um, what's really fun is I actually, earlier this week was on um, the blog. I did a blog post for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine as I was talking about how I am documenting these days um, in a traveler's notebook. So this is the spread that I shared. Now, when we talk again about, um, about listing and memory keeping in a traveler's notebook, you guys, this is like the perfect marriage of the two. Um, so as we're working on our list, I want you to be thinking if you are a memory keeper and you're not a huge fan of listing, well, this is basically a memory keeping, right? I have just made a list of some of my favorite things or some of the things that happened last month in September, and then I added photos. So those were the three lists that we did last week. You can um, always, 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 if you miss the live, you can always go back and watch any of the prior sessions. So if you want to do any of those lists, you can. If you want to hang out and watch, you can. All right, so that was our first show and tell. 
our next show and tell. Um, last night, I added a new kit, a new Traveler's Notebook kit to the website. And this is the holiday or um, kind of November, December Traveler's Notebook kit. So this is, um, the kit has the product to make your, I mean, to put your, basically to decorate your Traveler's Notebooks for the months of this one, November and December. So I'm using Cozy Days, the Cozy Days collection for November. And we've actually used this one a little bit in some of our last lists, this collection, which is so stinking fun. So um, we always do two inserts. We decorate two inserts and then we decorate our pockets. So that is what November, um, that's what I did with the November portion of the kit. And then, oh, December. You guys, I love Christmas. I love, love, love Christmas. And if I could have a, um, a Christmas traveler's notebook year round, I totally would. You know what? I'm the boss of me. I guess if I wanted, I could have... Um, I could have the Christmas Traveler's Notebook all year round, right? Anyhow, um, this is what the second part of that holiday or November, December Traveler's Notebook kit, this is what we do with it. So decorate the pockets, even giving the little Santa some puff on his little hat there, on his little hat there, our insert for, or one of our inserts, and then the other insert. So, I have linked um, to this particular kit in the description of the video as well, you guys. Um, they're super affordable. It's $20. So, um, and the value, those of you that have done it before, you know, is totally there. Um, anyhow, the other thing I had to just show you really quick. This is a new Traveler's Notebook cover that I brought in to go with this kit, the note or the December portion of the kit. Is that not the cutest thing with the scallops there? Anyhow, um, so the other last thing I want to show you about this, you guys, your little kit this time even includes a little charm. And you guys know Sam, guess what Sam does? Um, I give him two pair of jewelry pliers, I give him jump rings, and I give him a lobster clasp and a little charm. And he makes all those for me. Isn't that awesome? Now, it's not child labor because I pay him. Um, anyhow, so it's kind of fun. You guys know family affair. All right, so there we go. There's show and tell. Show and tell is over. Uh, oh, I know, last thing with that kit. We also do two um, two separate videos. They are similar to this. They're um, kind of, I call them plan with me live videos where we take our kit and then we put our Traveler's Notebook together with the kit. Okay. Whew. <sighs> okay. Now we've got all that stuff away out of the way. Now we can play. All right. So today we have three different lists that we are doing. The first one is Fall Memories. The second one is Favorite Halloween Candy. And the last one is Things I Am Looking Forward To um, for Fall. Uh, Sandy, yes, it is. It's $20 and it includes all the stuff for November and all of the stuff for December. Um, if you click on the link in the profile, it shows you everything that's in the kit. Um, okay. So which one should we start with? I think, well, at the top of my list, I had fall memories. So I think that is what we will start with. This is my, I have to make a list ahead of time because I can, can't possibly think off of the top of my head what all those things are. I have to think. Okay, so for fall memories, I thought what I would do, and we kind of talked about this last week. Well, we've talked about it a couple times. We talked about it in one of our memory keeping sessions as well. Um, sometimes, well, basically it's okay to copy yourself sometimes, right? It is okay to copy yourself. So I thought what I would do, we'd, I'd kind of gone along that route for the about last months. So I decided, you know what, when I do the about last months, I kind of want them all to have the similar format, right? So this was August. And then I forgot I was going to add photos there, so no worries. And September is very similar to that, right? My month title, some stickers, and some um, letter stickers that kind of help words pop. So September, August. So then I started thinking, you know what? I really liked when we did this guy. This was favorite summer memories. I thought, well, you know what? Why don't um, we also do a favorite fall memories? And now you guys are also probably going to figure out that we'll do favorite, 
winter memories and favorite spring memories too. That's something that we'll just kind of do for a little while. So starting out, favorite fall memories or just fall memories. Now, when I did summer, I decided to have this be some of my favorite, some, some of my favorite summer memories from when I was growing up as a kid. And um, I think I'm going to kind of mix that, but kind of not. So this will definitely be a two page spread. One of the things that I used when we did our favorite summer memories, I used the Carrie Bradford uh, summer printable. Um, and it is called summer, da, 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 I don't remember. Um, it's a summer printable. So what I'm going to do for fall is I'm using the same printable, but for fall. So that looks like this. I have um, printed this out. I've actually printed out two copies because one I printed out, um, the other I printed out and cut all the little pieces up already. So um, I've linked to this in the description of the video if you want to grab that from Carrie. Now this is something very interesting and I was very glad that I had read this ahead of time, but then I forgot, but then I remembered. So you guys, Carrie does something really neat. When she does these, and now um, I think she has three of the four, so she has winter, and the winter one I used um, in my uh, December documented project kit for this year. Um, so she does winter, she does summer, and she does fall. I'm sure she'll do a spring. But what I happened to read, and it kind of went in one ear and out the other, um, when I read it, was that she makes two versions. This is how awesome Carrie is. She makes two versions. She makes a version for those of us that live in the Northern Hemisphere. She also makes a version for those of you that live in the Southern Hemisphere. And I thought, oh, that's so cool. And then it went right out my head. So this morning when I was cutting all these little bits up, I went, oh no, Carrie made a mistake. She must have had these things already in there for spring and just didn't change them for fall. Because this says, March, April, May. And this one says autumn, March, April, May. Well, so Carrie's a friend of mine and I thought, oh, I better tell her that. She must not know. Sent her an email this morning. Literally after I hit sent, I went, oh my gosh, I bet I accidentally downloaded the Southern one, right? So yes, um, I have the version for the Southern hemisphere. That is why mine says March, April, May. But isn't that cool that she does that? I mean, she really thinks about, you know, that people, there are people in the world besides those of us that live in the Northern Hemisphere. So I clearly will not be using March, April, and May because I live in the Northern Hemisphere. However, I can just cut those out and still use them um, for March, April, and May. Okay, so um, when I did my summer memories, I had that what summers are made of. So I bet knowing Carrie, she probably has one of these little things that says what autumn, what autumns are made of. So let's see if it's in here. I know it's in here because I looked on the pre-printed sheet. Oh, let's move that up so you guys can see. Um, but you guys, seriously, I think these are, I think the printable is $2. But look at all these little pieces that you get. Um, and I just put them, when I'm done, um, I just put them in one of my little you know, one of my little die cut storage containers like this so that they all kind of hang out together. So I have my summer ones in one like that. Now I need to find that, what autumns are made of. Oh, here we go, what autumns are made of. So I'm basically kind of going to copy myself. Um, I know I want to use that. I really liked the way kind of all this came together. So what autumns are made of. And then I'll, I need another little sticker that would go there. So feeling fallish could go there. That's kind of fun. Um, autumn days could go there. File under autumn vibes, that could go there too. All right, well, let's say, and, and in order for this to go there, I would have to obviously cut that off a little bit, but let's let's keep those little guys out. But I think I'll probably use feeling fallish. Feeling fallish, who's feeling fallish today? We are still in the very warm temperatures. Uh, I don't know, it's probably going to be 75 or 80 again today, which is kind of, um, unusual for, well, I don't know, Utah. Um, we're all over the place in the spring and the fall, but I think starting on Sunday, it's supposed to get kind of ah, cold. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, these I'm going to do. These I will use later, so let's put those off to the side. I need to get my, my mind kind of together here. Um, so one of the things that I had used on this spread was the Shore Collage Kit. The Shore Collage, there was a um, package of a whole bunch of die cuts. Um, and those were kind of beach themed from 49 and Market. And I thought, well, I'm gonna look at some of the others that I have. So on my website, I have Noel, which is Christmas. I have Lilac and Sage and Shore and, oh my gosh, Coral and Sky Blue and a whole bunch. Butter is one, a yellow one. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pull out the natural and see kind of what I have here. And what could maybe work for fall? Because I, I know I'll end up with a lot of fall color on here, but I wanted something that was a little bit more neutral. Oh, Veronica, you're sweet, my blouse. You guys saw my arm move, so I can show you my little, um, my little bell sleeve. I love bell sleeves. Um, anyhow, total squirrel. Oh, that reminds me. Scatter, we forgot scatter. Um, okay, so I pulled all of those things out, but just really neat. Um, really, in a lot of cases, large die cuts that if you're a scrapbooker, they work great for scrapbooking. If you're a card maker, tags, um, what have you. Large um, little viewfinder. So um, these were all pieces, although I kind of like that one, so we'll leave that off to the side. Um, these were all pieces that I actually set aside. Um, <laughs> Mariana, I do have some dangly tassel earrings that go with that. I didn't put them on today. Ran out of time. Um, okay, I can't even um, pretend to pronounce your name, Steinen from Iceland. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? You live in an amazing place from Iceland. That is so cool. It's so fun. We get people you guys literally hear from all over the world, which completely blows my mind. All right, um, back to what we were talking about because I get tied, sidetracked too easily. These were also some of the little pieces from that uh, natural collage pack. So I thought, ooh, some of these are small. Some of these might work as well. So I pulled those out. And they're also kind of fun because if I know I'm using this guy from the printable, that these are kind of all the same, you know, shape, tall rectangles. Um, what I also pulled out, and I always love to do this, and then I like to talk about it because I think you guys, sometimes people don't think about this. So when I did this particular spread, um, that... No, that was one of the die cuts. This happens to be the packaging from that pack of natural die cuts. So look at the back, that's the package, right? Um, but I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cool. That would be so cool to use as a base of my page because it's totally tall enough and it's totally wide enough. So when you're buying things, anything, Look at the package because a lot of times you can use the package in your lists or in your memory keeping or even for a tag or a card. I mean, if I needed to make a really quick card, I could just literally cut this out and put it on a piece of cardstock and it would be a beautiful card. And people would think that I was amazing because they would think that I, you know, I'm really talented at all this artwork. I'm really not. Um, but even something that's also cool is on the back side, especially when we're working with kind of a smaller format like our Traveler's Notebook. These little clusters, I mean, I could cut that out and that could just go in the corner of my, um, in one of my pages, right? Those little clusters are kind of cute and decorative. I could put a little title there or a couple stickers or something. So remember your packaging. All right, with that said, I know I wanna use this. So let's grab our trimmer. And my inserts are standard wide, so they are 8.25 by five. But I know I don't want this to cover the entire page. I wanna have a little bit of a border. So I think I will go to seven and three quarters tall. So let's cut this off like this. Oopsie, oh, uh, seven and three quarters. So basically I'm cutting a half inch. We'll see if that's enough. Uh, seven and three quarters, so I took a half, and if it's five, then I would go to four and a half. So let's go over here. Now, yes. 
It actually goes this way, now that I look at it. Um, I had it upside down, which is good because I'll have more room to put my title right there. All right, let's see how that might look. Now, um, as we talk about packaging, it doesn't only have to be your crafting packaging too. A lot of times if you buy clothes, even like clothes from Target, sometimes have really cool tags. So look at the tags that you're taking off of your clothes because if you have a tag like this, even it has a little hole in it, a little piece of string, then you can add it to your, um, add it to your, your stuff. Okay, that might not be small enough. Let's see here. Oh, you guys, look at, we are getting close. We're almost done. We are almost done with this book, which means I'll do a flip through soon. Um, one of the reasons why I decided that I would be using something like this on this side, last week we talked a little bit about ghosting when you are stamping. So um, what ghosting means is I had stamped, and you, you can't see much of it anymore. I had stamped um, with one of my little uh, leaf stamps in orange. So you can kind of see that. It it didn't bleed through. It kind of ghosted through, shadowed through, it bled through a little bit there, which is fine. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about that. So that is when you put something over it. And that's what we will do here. We're going to put this little guy over it. As my, um, as my insert, as I start to get towards the end of my insert, you'll see right here that it definitely curves, right? Because it's got a lot of pages here. So I just need to make sure that I put my adhesive kind of right there along the edge so it kind of helps it curve. I'm also just going to kind of bend this a little bit because this is, it's a really thin cardboard. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than, uh, than like paper that we might otherwise use. Um, all of, and now that I say that, I can't remember if I linked that. Usually, usually what I do, you guys, is that any of the tools that I use, my trimmer and all of that, I link in the description of the video because people, you guys always ask, what's that? How do you like that? Um, what's that trimmer? What adhesive do you like to use? I also, um, have a page on my website, uh, that's called, I think, favorite tools and accessories or something like that, where I link to pretty much everything I use. So then you know what my favorites are. Um, all right, so now I will come in here and outline a little bit, which it gets harder and harder to do when uh, we get towards the end of our book. Now, um, way, 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 way back. I mean, like what felt like years ago, right? Um, when we were doing our sessions, one of the sessions that I did was how to make your own inserts. So we had a lot of fun with that one on how to make your own inserts. If you're interested in that, you can just go back and find it it's here on my YouTube channel. Um, but one of the things that I think Carrie, I think Carrie Bradford suggested, um, as she and I were chatting one day, um, that you can, if you're not making your own insert, so let's see, this is a, there's a few things in there, um, an insert. If I wanted, when I start working on an insert, I could come in and take out the staples. So I can take out the staples, I can work on all my pages just as I go. Then when I get everything done in the insert, then I can come back in and either staple, um, one of the things I talked about in that session was how to do that, either using a long reach stapler, which is what I have, or you could also stitch so you could stitch it back together. So we also talked about um, how to do that, um, which makes it a little bit easier when you start to get to the end and you have all of this over here. So this page gets a little kind of bulky, right? All right, uh, let's see what else. Well, let's go back and see what we did before. That'll give us ideas. Okay, so now I need, I pulled out this guy. I really liked, Kind of this whole idea of having a photo-ish. Um, that was not a photo, it was a die cut, but kind of same idea here. So I thought that could be kind of fun if we put that in here somewhere. And we know we like this, what autumns are made of. We kind of like that right there. I should just mark this with a, um, oh here, let's do this. Well, that will work for like five seconds until we need to work on it. 
Um, if we do our title up there, then we need something to go. We need something to go. Hold on. Right in here. So let's take a look at... No, that, um, this is not working for me. This came out of that uh, natural stack, but it's too, you see how the colors are just too, like there's too much kind of brownie gray in there. So that won't work. Let's see what else we have in here that would work. I bet we have probably the exact same piece like that. That would work. So if this went there, and then this guy went over here kind of. And then I did some journaling right above. So if we kind of did this, I still wanna make sure that I have enough room in here for a title. I did a little date over here. So what I need to figure out is if I want to leave this, I like how this has the white space down here. Um, I like to have the white space down here because it kind of looks like a Polaroid. So I might add another little sticker or maybe one of Carrie's little, um, maybe one of Carrie's little cut apart things, the printable that I did, we'll see. Um, uh, yes, this is interesting. And I saw this um, on Instagram earlier this morning, always forget because those of us that live in the United States kind of generally seem to think that it's just all about us, right? Um, that Thanksgiving, I think, is next week in Canada, right? I had totally forgotten about that. So Canadian Thanksgiving is um, is very, very close. Uh, Melissa, uh, just a comment on that really quick, on your comment. There are traveler's notebooks. Um, well, they're really not traveler's notebooks. Um, there are um, little th two ring uh, books, rings in them, that then you could kind of use... Um, then they're kind of like a scrapbook traveler's notebook. I know a lot of people use those too. Okay, so I think I still like this here. This might be a little bit wide, so I think I will trim this down a tad. We could overlap like that. Um, this guy is from the... Um, oh my heavens, totally drawing, oh, late afternoon, uh, late afternoon, um, die cut pack. All right. I think we like that. So let's go ahead and put this maybe right there. Oh, it's okay. So it's this weekend. Yes. Okay. Very cool. So then, um, Normally in uh, Canada, then Monday is the, the Thanksgiving holiday. Is that right? So Monday is the Thanksgiving holiday. Now, what I always find interesting is, um, from what I understand also, that you guys don't have really Black Friday, right? Like Black Friday, if um, you are not from the U.S. and aren't familiar with that, Black Friday is always the day after Thanksgiving and that in the U.S., and that is when... Um, that is when the big shopping sales happen. Um, I wanna use that, that one. Um, every once in a while, you guys, and when you talk about the Sharpies that I use, um, eventually you have to get rid of it. It still has ink, but then the tip just starts to get so worn out. And somehow those always end back up in my little thing. So yes, happy Thanksgiving to all the Canadians. Oh, everybody, okay, you have Black Fridays now because you want deals too. Yes, I know, isn't that fun? I remember when I was, um, well, when our kids were little, my friend Karen and I, and Karen, um, she's on every once in a while on our Saturday sessions, she and I used to go Black Friday shopping. And oh my gosh, well, that was also like, you know, before the beginning of time when there was no internet. Um, or it seems so the Black Friday sales weren't exactly, um, you know, online. I think pretty much now you can get everything online, although, unless you want to go to Walmart and fight for one TV. Um, okay, uh, da, da, da. 
I'm totally, sometimes I start telling stories. Hi, Nick. Sometimes I start telling stories and then I get sidetracked on what I'm working on. Right, I know, I totally got sidetracked there. Nick's golfing again, surprise, surprise. <laughs> no, that's his, I know, isn't that funny, Mandy? Hey, Nick, how's golf? Everyone just assume, everyone just assumes he's golfing. He is, he loves to golf and it's, you know, while he still can, you know, we have a big part of the year here where you can't golf because um, it, everything freezes. Um, so, yeah, okay. Just, we're just, I'm just squirreling. I'm squirreled and I don't even know where I've squirreled to. Oh, heavens, you guys. Okay. So um, let's date. Let's go ahead and date it. Yay, yay, yay. It's 1010. Oh, I know. So I saw a little while ago, someone asked, um, and I caught it and then forgot. Someone asked how the dirt pile is going. Um, I'm very happy to say, I think the dirt pile is gone. You don't hear the, you know, you don't hear that noise. However, also this week, they started digging the hole for a new house um, where, where the dirt pile was. So now, well, the, the dirt pile was actually so big, it covered four lots. Um, it was a very large dirt pile. That's why it took them three Saturdays to get rid of it. Um, but now the dirt pile is back a little bit because they started, um, they've dug a hole for the another lot, another home. But nowhere near what it was. Nowhere near. Okay, so now I'm taking my roller date stamp, my very favorite one that you guys, I use all the time. Uh, and I'm going to date it. So 10, 10, 20, you just saw me make sure that I had the right date there. There's 10, 10, 20. All right. And literally, you guys, I'm totally copying myself, right? I am totally copying myself and there's nothing wrong with that. You can copy yourself. You can copy anyone. Really, you can copy anyone. If you want to copy me, you can copy me. If you saw something on Instagram or on Pinterest, on YouTube, anywhere. But here's the thing. If you copy someone, if you're inspired someone, inspired by, that is absolutely okay. Just don't pass it off as your own. And I'm not saying that. That's just kind of the, the, the unwritten rule, right? You don't, you don't um, copy someone else and then pretend like it's your work. That's generally not good karma, right? That's not good karma. So... Um, I encourage being, um, inspired by other people, even copying. If you want to copy anyone, you should absolutely do it. Just, you know, if you show it anywhere, say, Hey, look, I loved what Jane Doe did. And so I'm totally inspired and I did it too. Okay. So we've got some things going here. Now I need a title because this should say, um, well, okay, here's the deal. Autumn memories or fall memories. I don't know if I want that to say autumn or fall. Um, normally I call things fall. I don't call things autumn. Um, oh, heavens. Did you hear that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. More construction work happening. All right, so let's see what we want to do. I'm going to pull out some stickers. That is the Cozy Days. Oh, I'm gonna have to use some of these for sure. Cozy Days sticker book. Um, I know that there are some letters. Is there another letter in here? No. Okay, just these letters. All right, so those I know are going to be too small. So now I am going to go to my fallback because I know I should be able to find a color that would work in here. Uh, this is where I um, store... <laughs> most of my sticker tablets. So I think I'll be able to find something in one of these, maybe that orange. Oh, you know what might work? Maybe one of these blue, I don't know, maybe one of the blues. Okay, those are all the same now. I have doubles because I can just go down to my store and pull them whenever I need extra. Um, as long as I take them out of inventory. If Nick's watching, he's like, uh, just make sure you take them out of inventory because when I forget to take them out of inventory, that's the problem because then you buy it and then I've already used it. And then we figure out, if, yeah, it, it's okay. We figure it out. <laughs> All right, so I think the orange, I think I like, I think I'm just going to go with the orange. So this will say, I think I might have it say fall memories. 
And I also have big letters. So maybe I do fall in the big letters and then do memories in the little ones. So I know I'm okay um, if I do fall with the big ones because I haven't used any from this sheet yet. So F-A-L-L, -L, I have enough. But when I come here to memories, this is kind of one of my little tricks. I come in and I will just make a little dot, M, E, M, O, R, I, oh, E, S. Okay, so I'm good. I put those little dots so I remembered. Um, I could check to see if I had enough letters. And I almost checked that E twice, which really wouldn't work because uh, that's why I put the little dot there. All right. Um, the orange, Mary, the orange is from the Brights set. So uh, Mary just asked, which set is the orange in? There are four different um, alpha sticker books from Simple Stories, and I'm crossing my fingers that they have more coming. I'm crossing my fingers because I love these. Um, and I think they might because I'm just going to guess this color vibe. They have come out with a lot more colors in their Color Vibe collection that aren't in the stickers. So you guys can all cross your fingers with me because you know how much I love those. So there are the brights, and the brights is what I'm using, the orange. There are the basics. There are the lights. And then there are the bolds. So the bolds, um, if that orange wouldn't work, um, these would work. That would kind of work well. That if when you look at some of the colors that I had pulled, like look at that. I mean that's like almost a dead match. So bolds, well, anyhow, I use them all. This is more of a coral in the bold, so the coral wouldn't work as well, although you have that um kind of that olive color. And then of course the yellow, because that's the yellow I seem to use on everything. Okay. So let's go to fall memories. Now the other thing I could have used, I could have used some of these, the sunshine alphabets that I have in the store, but I think these are a little bit too whimsical for the look that I have going here. So that's why I'm gonna stay with something that's a little bit more, just kind of basic. So let's do fall. I know, Mary, I know, isn't it interesting? I would think that that the orange would, I mean, I kind of think that it would be, well, I don't know, who knows? They are what they are, but the orange is good. I agree. Um, those, you guys, I may be running low on all of the stickers. I pretty much have a standing order in with Simple Stories that comes, well, it doesn't come every week. I should just tell them to have it come every week, but um, I usually place the order every week, except when things get a little crazy, then it doesn't happen, which things have been that way lately. So if you see them and they're out, just click um, on the, there's a little button that says, oh, it's gonna get really loud here in a minute, you guys. The dumpster guy is um, like switching out dumpsters, like taking away a full one and leaving an empty one. Um, I don't know if you knew this, I didn't know this until we moved here, but when here in Utah, I guess the rule is, if you are building, for every home that's being built, it has to have its own dumpster. So. Oh good, he took it away. We didn't, it's probably the, it was probably the loud noise that we heard before, that loud crashing, that that's what that was. Okay, F-A-L-L. -L. Um, yeah, squirrel, right? So Sandy, what's Sandy suggesting? And I think Sandy may be right. Sandy says she thinks I need to outline the letters to make them pop. And Sandy, I think you are right. So um, we'll take a look at that. Little tear there, no worries. Let's see if I can get that. Let's see if we can make that go down okay with the tear. Oh yes, you can't even tell. If I didn't tell you and I didn't go, ah, you would never even know that tour. All right, um, so normally I can pull those stickers off super easily and replace them. The reason why they're not pulling off as easily right now is because of what's underneath it. That packaging that we're using from the natural um, collage stack is 
has a coating on it. That's why they're not pulling off as easily um, as they would otherwise. So I will be more gentle. All right, fall. Now, before, Sandy, I do what you suggested. I am going to um, add the memories underneath uh, in my little letters. So uh, when I have a longer word and I want things to be centered, and I know that this they're not as easy to reposition here, I will come in and I will write the word. M-E-M-O-R-I-E-S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight letters. So my halfway point would be uh, four and four. However, when we look at these letters, the M's are a little bit thicker than some of the other letters, especially the I. The I is super skinny. So I will put, I will start with the O in the middle and then work my way left to right. That's just a little trick. Um, another little trick, and actually, maybe I'll do this. Uh, let me grab a ruler and I'll show you another little trick when you're trying to position something like that. You can take a ruler, okay? So if I take a ruler and I just start putting my letters on the ruler, just barely. So that's just barely on the, um, it's just barely, the sticker's just barely on the ruler. So I can line up all my letters on the ruler. So I need an M. Then I can um, easily place that and then peel the ruler back off. Oh, easily, M-E. I think we've maybe done this once before. It, um, sometimes it's easier though to see it done than to just have me explain it. So we'll do it, see how it works. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to turn on my fan. The lights get really warm. The studio lights get toasty, toasty, toasty. And I also have jeans on, which probably isn't the smartest thing to be doing when I am uh, doing the videos. Uh, Colleen, yes, and that's another point. With coating on the packaging, I may have some smearing when I do the letters. Um, using a Sharpie pen will help that. Um, but what I can do, well, should help that. What I can do, this is the part that we just cut off. I can test it on that. But the reason I'm waiting is I may not, so I don't know that I want to outline the little letters, like these little letters, and then it might look funny if I outline the big ones and not the little ones. So that's why I'm going to wait. Um, but I will show you um, an example of where I've done that in the past, outlined the letters. Um, that will take a little bit more time if I do decide to outline them. So that'll kind of be a news at 11. Um, tune in next week and we'll see how this ends up uh, getting finished on whether I outline or not. M-E-M-O-R-I-E, -E. okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Merrily. So here we go. Marilee is sharing her tips and tricks for um, <laughs> for hiding purchases from someone that she cohabitates with. <laughs> so Marilee said she just purchased the holiday TN kits and the red TN and two inserts, and she's having it delivered to her school so that her husband doesn't see another box arriving. Love that, right? So. Nick and I, Nick and I have been married for 25 years. We were 25 years in May. And we have this kind of ongoing joke that I, um, I like to shop. I just do. And it's probably good that um, in that respect, that coronavirus happened because I really don't go anywhere. Um, although I still shop online. Um, with, uh, Nick will be like, oh, is that a new shirt? And I'll be like, well, no. It's like, are you sure? I've never seen you wear it before. And I'll say, oh, well, you know, it's new-ish. <laughs> it's been in my closet for a while. And I'm not really um, defining what a while is. Okay, so here, I probably should have measured first, but that's okay. 
I think I might be able to pull all of this off. I was a little high. Um, sorry. Um, I was a little high in this piece. No, it's going to be okay. I'm going to leave it there. All right. I don't want to mess with trying to get that off. Okay. So here, now I can say, oh, you know what? That looks good. That's centered. And now I can push all those guys down like that. The eye is a little bit harder because it's so skinny. We'll just pull that guy off now. And then I can theoretically, very carefully, very carefully do that. So there they are. They are all in place and I'll go back in and place the eye. So that's a little bit easier making sure things are even, all right? And then you also have an opportunity to make sure it's spelled correctly before you, um, before you actually put it down. Um, let's see. You've I've had that shirt since last week. Yes. Are those new shoes? No, Uncle, those are new shoes. I know they're new shoes because I saw them come in the mail. Oh, okay. He said, you owe me a pair of shoes. So that he just likes to joke that if I get a new pair of shoes, then I have to get rid of a pair of shoes. So then I always keep like some really cheap, like flip flops from the dollar store on hand. Oh, okay. I'll get rid of these. The things that we do, right? Aren't we funny? Okay. And we're just totally joking back and forth between each other, by the way. Um, all right. So... Um, I think here, instead of, I had put a little heart there, but I think I might want to do a little leaf. A little leaf could be fun. Maybe a leaf right there. I like, um, I like this kind of blue. And what's fun about this, you guys, and it's always interesting when you have two different collections from two different manufacturers do something like this because they kind of work together. So this is late afternoon from Amy Tangerine for American Crafts. This is part of one of the packs from Pink Fresh. So I think it was probably from the floral pack. So those were the, uh, da, da, da. nope, it's from this guy. Uh, yeah, it's from the floral pack, anyhow. But, the colors in it go so well together. And what I love about it is that both collections use colors that aren't necessarily traditional for autumn, right? Kind of that bluish gray color. So I like that. I'm going to use that. Yeah, I like that there. We'll go a little bit into my journaling right there, my little journaling space. now. Down below here, let's see what I might put there. I might have, ah, I won't put anything right here because I know I want washi there, right? And the ruler washi comes out. That ruler washi clearly comes out in a lot of cases, right? I love the ruler washi. It's just such a good neutral, I think. It's a good neutral. Now here I need to cut it. Sometimes I can make it just go right over to the next page. And in this case, I cannot do that. I'm not able to do that because there's so much on the left side and not the right side that if I go this way, it's just gonna have this whole piece that's kind of hanging there. So this one, it kind of worked. This one, it's not going to work at all. So let's do this, but we'll just get it right in there and you really won't even notice that it's not there. All right, so lots of good fall colors. Um, 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 um. Orange washi. <laughs> now, I have this orange washi, but that's not going there. I don't want that there. That's Halloween. We'll use that for the next one. So I am going to just go over into one of my 80 washi, literally, you guys. Sorry, you can hear me, kind of, but I just turned to look at... Generally, I try to, no, that's too Halloween-y, and that is, no, nope, not working either. Um, generally, I try to organize my washi by color so that I can go right to the orange. Um, it is, yeah, it is. It's a little uneven. We'll just pull it back up. Um, it's okay on the left page, but on the right page, it is not. 
that's the beauty of washi, right? We can just come right in. Let's trim that off because it's not even there. I'd really like it if I had some kind of light blue. There we go. That's better. If I had some light blue washi, but I don't think I'm going to find that same color, similar color. So bear with me. I'm just looking in the drawers to see what we can find. Da, da, da. No. No, too much. Blue is not going to work. I can already tell. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave some room here for washi, I think. And I will find something to add to that later. All right. Uh, let's see now. I liked that look. So because I used the same little stack, that collage stack or collage pack, uh, I have that little frame. So that little frame will work. That can go over here. It needs to go up a bit. So let me just trim these little guys off. Uh, eat. Eat. Oh, so you guys, we need to talk about next Saturday. Uh, next Saturday, well, I was supposed to be uh, teaching in Southern California next weekend, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but uh, that is not happening. But uh, I am teaching virtually and I'm teaching two classes on Saturday and two classes on Sunday, which means next Saturday, our regular time will not work. And next Saturday will not work at all because I'll teach two back-to-back three-hour classes and then there's no way mentally I can um, do this. So Sunday won't work either. So what may happen, you guys? Uh, we may do next Friday night. Um, you guys have to let me, well, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask you to let me know if that works because it's probably going to work for me. And it, if we're going to do it, that's when it needs to happen. So uh, maybe I can get Nick to hang out in here with me, right? <laughs> probably not. But I may have a glass of wine next Friday night. Not right now. Not right now. It's too early in the morning here. Um, it's five o'clock somewhere, we always like to say though, right? No, too early. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll do next Friday night. All right, feeling fallish. So you guys look it. I mean, it's pretty much, I'm pretty much exactly copying what I did before. And that's okay because I liked it. And I thought that'll be really easy. That's kind of a fun thing to do. So um, now I can do my journaling. So right here, I will write, um, fall is one of my favorite times of year. A wonderful transition from the hot, I'm just, I'm just off the top of my head. Hot summer days, falls on me four times a year, from the hot summer days to the cold and snow that winter is sure to bring. All right, so sometimes that's dangerous. Sometimes, um, just writing like that on the fly can be dangerous. Is that, I hope that's not blurry. You guys have to tell me if that looks blurry to you. I mean, I know it's not blurry, but if what you're seeing is blurry. Um, anyhow, so sometimes that works. Sometimes you can just journal off the top of your head and it works. Other times you're like, ooh, yeah, I kind of didn't have enough room to say what I wanted to say. Or, ooh, whoops, I don't really have, um, there was more I wanted to say and I don't have room for it. So um, we were okay there. All right, so feeling fallish, let's go ahead and adhere these guys. If you are, and Karen, maybe it was you, uh, I think it was maybe that emailed me and said you were going to be doing a, a fall traveler's notebook, like a whole insert about fall. Um, if you guys 
that's a great idea for kind of mixing your like memory keeping and listing in a traveler's notebook. If you have uh, from season to season, the same types of things you're documenting, the same types of things that you are listing, like favorite foods of fall, uh, favorite fall memories, uh, fall colors, um, favorite fall traditions, whatever that is. You could have an insert that would be for the full year and you could have kind of the same lists that you do for each season. That might be kind of fun. All right, so then what I did, um, over here, I had done my journaling, some of my favorite fall memories, and, or summer memories, and I used colored pencil to kind of highlight those. So I will, um, I think that, I, well, we'll see. We'll start going, and then I may come back and add the colored pencil later. We'll see. All right, um, where'd my list go? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I know where it is. It's under there. Okay, favorite fall memories. Uh, what I had done here, I also wanted to mention, besides listing what they were, um, I provided just a little bit of explanation. Like um, Disneyland, going with Papa and having him dole out the tickets back when they had ticket books for Disneyland. So it's a little bit, a, kind of a cross between memory keeping and listing because I'm adding just a little bit more detail behind that. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that again. So uh, the first one is, playing in the leaves. And this would be um, both as a kid, myself and watching the boys have fun. Okay, um, so the reason on this one, why it ended up going back and um, using a colored pencil to kind of highlight those things is that it became really difficult to differentiate between what the things were, like what the favorite memories were, and then the description behind them. So um, that is why I did this. Outlined first. And then um, I can't remember if I actually came in after the fact and added the colored pencil because I still thought you couldn't see it enough. Um, this keeps bugging me. Just so you know, I'm going to find something to go here. Um, if I had done this over, um, this would have all moved a tad and this would have stayed, but everything else would have moved a tad because now I have this big space there. So I'll find something to put there. But my mind just keeps being drawn back to that. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, um, playing in the leaves. Oh, and this one, you guys. Oh, I miss this so much. So, so much. Friday Night Lights. So... Friday Night Lights, if you are not familiar with that term, that is high school football. Um, and I, good memories from high school when I was in high school, but really these memories are of Jack and Sam. Um, we were so in, oh my gosh, this is gonna get me emotional. We were so involved with them as they were playing football. And it was just such a, it was such a neat time um, to be part of that. And they loved it. Jack played all four years. Um, Sam played two of the four years and then um, decided he wanted to be focused more on lacrosse than football. But, oh gosh, you guys know, I am not a, I am not a crier. There's been a couple times when we've been doing these that just something comes over me. And that's probably when I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. Ah, uh, oh, you guys. But what part of that is was so neat is that um, as a parent, seeing your kids just love something so much and work so hard at something. Um, and, you know, sometimes things didn't go their way. And, you know, just the same as a parent. Sometimes that's super hard. Um, but I was also, um, I was on the board, the football board for the high school for 
for I think five or six years and just made some amazing friends that way. And anyhow, just such good memories. Now, tell me how I write all that down here. Um, but you know what that does tell me? That tells me that I need to, um, I have to get out my traveler, my, my traveler's notebook, one of the 80 that I have. Um, I need to, because obviously that's something that is resonating with me right now. I need to, so October 24th, let's see, October 31st. No, we'll do something. Okay, October 24th, we will do um, memory keeping. So this is a memory keeping one, since we'll only be doing that once a month now, but the memory keeping. Um, Priest Lake, so Friday Night Lights. I will for sure do a spread about Friday Night Lights. And you know what? Here's the thing. I don't have any football scrapbook product. Um, I will not be using football scrapbook product. I will be doing something, and we'll see what that is. But that is for sure something that I'm excited about. Okay, Friday Night Lights. Um, all right. So now what, am I, what do I even say? What do I even say? Um... Probably one of my all-time favorite memories. Watching the boys play football. The The teamwork, the excitement. What was really cool, so Jack and Sam, you guys are three years apart. And when Jack was a senior, Sam was a freshman. Um, oh gosh, I, I need to get a Kleenex. <laughs> when I, I need to go grab a Kleenex, you guys, sorry. Bear with me for a sec. Okay, so maybe, maybe I now need to um, add to my things to have with me when we're working is box Kleenex. Whew, okay. Anyhow, last thing I'll say about football and Friday Night Lights. Uh, Jack and Sam, three years apart. So when Sam was a freshman, Jack was a senior. And there was one, so Jack played varsity, Sam was on JV. Um, and one game, well, Sam was able to dress for quite a few um, varsity games. There was one game where they both got to, am I still here? Oh yeah, I'm talking with my hands, but you can't see. One game where they both got to play in the same game together. And that was like, oh my gosh, just the coolest thing. Now, not the whole game, Sam got in for maybe two plays, but it was just the coolest thing. And I think that's probably the photo that I will use when I do the memory keeping about Friday Night Lights. Okay, Friday Night Lights. So some of you on your list may be Friday Night Lights. Some of you may have softball. Some of you may have football. Some of you may have soccer. Some of you um, may have watching um, NFL football. Some of you may be like football, but So it wouldn't be on your list. Okay, next. Okay, now I'm all, all back and ready to go. All right, carving pumpkins. Carving pumpkins. Uh, um, it's so funny. All right, so the Sharpie pens, because that's what the boys would always try to draw their things with first. The Sharpie pens, the um, serving spoons, not serving spoons, but like the big, what's like the big spoon that you'd use to like stir, stir soup or something, not a... Um, not a, um, oh my heavens. I'm just gonna say the big spoons. The big spoons. The garbage bags for the guts. And the mess. But I love that, you love that. The carving pumpkins. Um, of course, and this is anywhere. Uh, the changing leaves. 
uh, we are very fortunate in Utah to have a fall. Um, Utah has some of the most amazing trees and fall colors and leaves equals spectacular. All right, not a complete sentence, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, what does Diane say? Oh, Diane, with the, with the hurricane. Oh, heavens, yes, please be safe. Please be safe. Pensacola, years ago we lived in Pensacola when my dad was in the Navy flying. So yes, be safe and good luck with the soccer tourney. Um, all right, ladle, ladle. You know what's funny, Karen and Gina? I wasn't thinking ladle. I was thinking like just a big spoon. Um, but then I also, when I saw ladle, sometimes, and you guys know this, if you've ever emailed me or you type a comment in somewhere, sometimes darn autocorrect gets involved and decides to change my name. And sometimes um, it will be ladle. Sometimes it will be Layla. Generally it's Layla, but so I wasn't sure if you guys were saying ladle and it was changing. Um, Auto-correcting for you. Okay, changing leaves. Um, the next one. Uh, the, the pumpkin patch. So, um, wonderful memories. And you know, it's interesting. This is more wonderful memories with Sam. When he was probably, I want to say four and five, um, going with my friends. These are scrapbook friends, um, Jesse Stringham and Sandy Krieger. Um, they, I met scrapbooking. And um, when our kids were little, 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 and so it's kind of fun to have those friends that I've met through scrapbooking. But two years in a row, we did different pumpkin patches and we just had so much fun. Um, all right, the last one. And I have on purpose left some room for this. Hold on. I need to see though first before I do that. Um, no, 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 no. I was thinking back to what the maze made out of hay bales, right? Uh, so over here, I had the sunshine, but um, I won't have that. I won't have something like that because here is going to be long. This is, oh, um, oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> so someone earlier said, oh, I wonder if that would work for journaling boo-boos. Uh, so this is supposed to say grandma and I have G-R-A-D. I accidentally left out the N, right? So I'm going to take this little white gel pen and I am going to just color right over that letter. Come on. Sometimes you have to um, play with it a little bit to get the ink flowing again. All right, you see how that disappeared? It's magical, right? It's gone. So. You can kind of see it when I do that. I'm going to skip that space right now. Um, that will be an N. I will put the N there. Grandma, and I'll come back and do that. Grandma sees um, famous Halloween parties. So Grandma C is Nick's mom. Um, and her name is Carolyn and, ooh, actually didn't want to do that line either. Um, actually I did that on purpose so you guys could see that I could fix it again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, anyhow, amazing. She does, and ever since the kids were little, she's had Halloween parties for the grandkids and, um, for Halloween for the grandkids and obviously the parents. But oh my gosh, they are so much fun and it would be the exact same format every year. That would be, um, uh, we would play Spiderweb 
game with yarn where you would basically have a, um, a couple balls of yarn, black yarn, and you'd have everybody in a really large circle and then you'd throw the yarn back and forth to people and you'd end up with a giant spider web and it would wind around people and stuff and then the kids would always fall down and laugh and then you'd cut it off with scissors. So the spider web game, that was so much fun. Um, obviously we would carve pumpkins. We would um, make um, pumpkin cookies and they were already pre-baked. Make pumpkin po cookies with orange frosting. And as much candy on top as the cookie would hold. And then the very best thing The best of all was the spooky, and it wasn't really spooky, Halloween story. So what was so neat, you guys, was that um, she had a story. It was a book, a little, you know, kid book that she would read every year. And it was about, I was about some scarecrow and going to the, I don't know, whatever it was. Um, but... So she would have, um, the, the scarecrow would be, have clothes on and it would have a hat and it would have the big clunky boots and all these things. So she had a bag full of all those things, a hat and then a shirt that would flap in the wind and then big clunky boots and gloves and all these things. And so when all those things came up in the story, each of the kids would have, she'd pull out of her bag and someone would be the boots. So when it said the boots, she, the kid would take the boots and clomp the boots and wave the hat. And it was so much fun. And the kids, I mean, so all of the kids, I think the youngest kid, the youngest grandkid is I think in seventh or eighth grade, but the kids, you guys still love that story. And I bet if you asked any of the kids about, um, their favorite thing about that, how the Halloween parties, it would be, um, it would be that it would be the, um, uh, it'd be the story. Okay, so let's see if that's dry. There we go. Fixed it. Grandma sees famous Halloween parties. All right, so um, I think what I will do, you guys, I think we will stop on this list. Um, I will come back later. I will add something here, and then I'll figure out how I want to, um, how I want to color those in. Um, and then I'll show that next or next, probably next Friday night. I will show it next Friday night. Um, I am going to move on to the next list now because I actually uh, have a three hour class this afternoon. So um, I need to give myself a little bit of time in between. All right, so fall memories. Um, the next one, this is Halloween candy. Favorite Halloween candy. So, um, you guys, I always like to do just a little bit of Googling. Yes, you will, Mimi. That's so fun. The December documented class um, for that kit is this afternoon. Um, so um, a lot of times before our sessions, I will Google a list because I like to see um, how some people would answer that question. So I had my list of Halloween candy, but I thought it'd be interesting to see what, if you Google favorite Halloween candy, what other people have to say. And I found a really cool um, link, a map, and I have included it in the description of the video down below. And it shows state, there's a whole map of the United States and it's kind of cute, cutesy. And it shows a list state by state what the favorite Halloween candy is state by state. And it's kind of just fun. And I thought, I wonder how they got that information. I didn't read, I didn't read it all. Um, however, I think the title of it is like Michigan's favorite Halloween candy. And then it shows the rest of the States. So Utah, interestingly enough, um, Utah, it says favorite Halloween candy. Uh, now I don't remember what it was. So anyhow, um, if you want to know what your state's favorite ca Halloween candy is, you can go click on that link and see the map because it's kind of fun. Um, Sheila, I will link to this gel pen, um, in the description of the video when we're done. Um, because I don't remember, I think I remember where I got them, but I'm not sure. So I will, um, I will link it when we're done. All right. Favorite Halloween candy. 
So I think that this may be a, it's, well, let me, let me show you what I'm thinking. Um, this is something that we had done way back. I don't even remember. This was so long ago. Um, in one of our sessions, this was probably like April. And we made all these little pockets and little pockets and tip-ins and things like that. Well, we made a little um, tip-in like this. So the tip-in, we basically had made a pocket like that. And then it's tipped in to the trap. Oh, uh, hopefully you guys didn't hear that. Something really loud just crashed. Um, Debbie, would a white chalk marker work? Oh, you know what? It might. I bet it would. Yes, yeah, so if you have white chalk marker, you could totally try that. Um, white chalk marker might work better if you're not trying to then type or type, if you're not trying to write over it, but you could certainly test it out. Um, Mimi, Jolly Ranchers for Utah. See, interesting. Although I love Jolly Ranchers. Um, yeah, you guys, sorry. I don't mind, uh, heard it. Whatever, uh, Whatever's going on, you guys just know. It's construction, so... And then now it's all of a sudden really windy out there too. So you may be able to hear that anyhow. Um, so I thought it might be kind of fun to do something like this for one of our lists. Bye, Diane. We'll see you later. Um, a little list and do it in a pocket like this. So I think what, not quite sure yet. So we'll figure that out. I know it won't be this tall. I think we'll do like a half of a half of a pocket in there. So Let's see what we end up with. Um, someone asked the, 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 about the class. So the class is um, for those people that purchased my December documented kit. So we will be making that project um, later this afternoon at two o'clock my time. It is now 1130 my time. December documented at one. Yes, Janet, Jeanette, one o'clock Pacific. So um, I think somebody asked if you could come to that. If you didn't purchase the kit, then you can't come because it's exclusive to the people that purchased the kit. Okay, so um, let's see. I pulled out, let's get rid of some of these things that are in the, in the way here. I pulled out some different things, some different Halloween things. Let's move all of these things to the side. Oh, I know what I was going to do here. Um, that is, I said, if I was going to outline there, I would Sharpie. Okay, it um, it bleeds when it's wet, so we'll let that sit off to the side for a minute and see if that will work for us later. Okay, all of these guys go away, away, away. So a couple of the products that I pulled out for um, our Halloween candy list. Now, here's the deal. If you're not into Halloween, and I know not everyone is into Halloween, then change it. Just do your favorite candies or do, do your favorite fall foods or, you know, do something like that. But you can still play. Um, all right. So what I pulled out, I pulled out this guy. This guy just came in. It is the Hey Pumpkin, uh, Hey Pumpkin paper pad. So such, such, such fun, different designs for trick or treat. Hi, mom. How are you? Uh, yes, Ruth, I know. Halloween seems to kind of be more of a U.S. thing. Um, I think other Karen, Karen with a Y. Is that, did you, when you said, Leo, look who's here, is that who you meant? My mom? And if not, tell me, because I clearly missed it. Okay, so I pulled out a couple of papers that I thought might be fun. Um, I bet you can guess, based on one of these papers that I pulled out, what one of my favorite Halloween candies is. That one, right? That one. Okay, um, so I pulled some of those papers out. I also pulled out the Hey Pumpkin stickers that coordinate with it that are super, super fun. Um, what drew me to this Halloween line? This, the teal, right? The teal. You don't normally see teal or even like that kind of fun green in a Halloween collection. So that's kind of made it fun to play with. I actually used it, um, this collection, in my um, September, October Traveler's Notebook from 2019 in that kit. And then I had a project kit with it too because I loved it so much. Um, all right, so those guys, um, I pulled out some of Carrie's stamps, the trick-or-treat stamps. Um, public service announcement. 
Those of you, if you had been waiting for a bunch of Carrie's stamps to come back in stock, she got a huge restock um, just this past week. So they will not be around long, but if you've been waiting for something and looking for something, then you might want to check those out. I also pulled these guys in, you guys. So these were new. Um, these were new too. You know how much we love our word strip stickers. These are, um, this came in a package too. Let's see. That's kind of silverish. That one is kind of goldish. This one is goldish. And that one is silverish, but looks white. Okay. Anyhow, um, word strip stickers that I thought might be fun to go with this. Oh, and then these guys. Um, talk about a blast from the past. You guys, these, um, this label tape. How many of you had one of those little old-fashioned label makers where you'd twist and then you would, you know, put the A and then the R and then the Q or whatever to spell your word? Well, that's what these are. These are literally, when you feel them, they are all bumpy. So it's like somebody took the roll and then typed all the numbers and then typed all the letters and the numbers and, the, and all the things. So um, those are brand new to the shop too, but I thought those would be really fun to use as well. Okay. So now, with all of that said, let's think about our list here. Um, I think, okay, this is what I think I'm going to do. I think this is going to be a one-page list um, on this side. And then I'm going to do a little pocket here that tips in. Uh, Mom, no, Karen Petrowski is not here. One of the other Karens, <laughs> Karen Haynes. And then there's also, you guys, this is really fun too. There's also a lady that um, follows me on Instagram that happened to win one of my giveaways in the past. And her name is Karen, not a Karen. Karen, not a Karen. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Karen, not a Karen, if you know the little kind of Karen thing. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna make my list here and then I'm gonna have a little pocket here. What I think I'm going to do, I just thought about this. So I was thinking, well, I really want to do the pocket thing, but I want to put my list here. But then why would I have a pocket? What would go in the pocket? I am going to, um, once we are done, sometime this week before next Friday, when we do our list next Friday night, um, I am going to go to Google, my favorite photographer friend, Google. I am go going to Google some of the candies on my favorites list. I am going to find photos of, let's say, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup package. I'm going to right-click on that, uh, save it as a photo. I'm going to print it out as a smaller photo, and I am going to tuck it in to that pocket. So I will have different candy photos. They'll look like the wrappers, but I won't actually have the wrappers in there. Um, although that would be a good excuse to, to buy all the candy and eat all the candy because, well, I'm, I'm doing it because I have to have it for my class. But I don't want it to be all gross. So I will do um, the wrappers. I think that is what I'm going to do. Then here is, um, here's the thing. Right here, so my list will kind of, it'll be on this page and then I'll have a little shorter pocket that will be right here. But this will be Halloween. This will be Halloween, which means right here, I am going to save this page. So I will save this page for a Halloween list that we will do later this month. So these will end up being two different lists but they'll both be Halloween. So then the Halloween will make sense. So um, I don't have one of my pencils. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, let's see. So save for another Halloween list. Now you guys know the reason I have to do this is because if I don't write it there, then I will actually forget and do something right there. Um, the other thing is I can't do a sticky note either because last time I had a sticky note on there and then I pulled it off. And then you guys are like, put your sticky note back. So if I write on it, then hopefully I remember to um, not do that. Um, a photo of E.T. dressed up for Halloween to add to your spread. Okay, Colleen, it's not, it's not clicking for me. All right, so um, here we go on this side and the pocket. So let's see what I think may go here. <gasps> okay, this is going to be perfect here because I think what I will do, this will be the base of my page and it will work because I can do my journaling and my list on this page because um, there's not a lot of pattern going on. If I had tried to do that there, I wouldn't be able to do my list on there too because too much, I'd end up covering up with that, a bunch of that, but this will work because, so fun. Um, 
All right, so then let's see what we might do for our pocket. And then I need to think ahead of time kind of what I might do there too. So, um, oh, well, or here's another thing, you guys. Let's just talk about options. Let's talk about options if I didn't want to do another Halloween list there. Um, there are some sheets in this pad, like this one, that I could probably trim this down and it would fit right there, which is what I may do. Uh, let's see, I know there's another one like that, but I think it's going to be too wide. There's a calendar, a really cool um, calendar. But I think that is probably too, Maybe that, maybe I kind of like that. No, you know what? It's better if it's just trick or treat because we're talking about candy. So I will go with that. Um, now I need a two-sided pocket. I would like to have a two-sided pocket, I think. So um, this could be, I like this too though, it's so cute. Or that could be one side and this could be the other. There we go, that's what I'm going to do. So we have this here. Um, my pocket will be short enough that you'll kind of see this peeking through, but then I'll have my little candies there too. All right, so that's my plan. Does that sound like a good plan? Uh, K. Melania. It is the Hey Pumpkin. Hey Pumpkin pad um, that is on my website. It's all the Hey Pumpkin pad and the stickers are linked in the description of the video. All right, so we know we need to trim this guy down. Uh... You know what? I'm going to trim this guy down, but as I do this one, I am not going to, I'm going to get this entire list written and then I will come back and adhere it in here because I think it's going to be easier for me to do that way. So I'd like to have a little bit of border again, just like I had a little bit of border on this one. So I think I did a half of an inch. All the things are in the way. All of the things. Did anyone else freeze? Okay, good. Um, if, uh, Colleen, if you are frozen, I know sometimes if it freezes, you can still hear me. Um, you may have to go out and come back in. So I did five by 8.25, so I did a half. So I'm going to make this four and a half by 8.25, 7.75, 7 just a little bit there. Um, you guys see me, when I use pattern paper now, I try to always use, um, something from a six by eight pad because it's so, it's just, it works so well that way. It would just have to trim it down a little bit and then it fits. So that will go right here. All right, that will be one side of my list. Now, my other side of my list will be this. So this I think will always, also always be uh, five, no. Okay, hold on, 8.25, I need to trim a quarter inch off of each edge of the left and the right because I want, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> I'm still way too wide. All right, so this needs to be four and a half. So I can go a half inch this way and then a half inch this way. So I, um, I took from both edges so that it would be um, uh, even. Right, instead of like this one, I just cut everything off of one edge, but I took from both edges there so it would be even. Um, here's a little trick too, you guys. Uh, on a lot of the pads that American Crafts makes, and American Crafts makes this pad that we are working with here, wherever I did with it, um, up at the top of the papers, where did it go? Oh, um, that is where the hang hole is. So that pad can hang on a piece of grid wall or something at a store like that. Um, so when you take the papers off, you have that little strip that's left over. So this I could use as like faux washi, right? I'd have to put something right there, but I could use that little strip as kind of faux washi. All righty, so this will go right here. I can go ahead and put this guy down. Uh, let's move this out of the way, just for a sec. Just for a sec, I think we will come in and outline 
this guy. Have you guys been chatting about your favorite Halloween candy in the chat? Um, that's something that you can do. Um, if you are watching the replay, leave me a comment telling me what your favorite Halloween candy is. This always brings on a very, very, very controversial topic related to candy corn and whether or not you like candy corn. I like candy corn. Candy corn will be at the top of my favorite Halloween candy list. I know others do not like candy corn, like very much do not like candy corn. Um, that'd be cute. Karen suggested um, over that little hole, you could put a bow there. That would be super cute. Um, do you like candy corn? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like candy corn. Um, uh, I think I talked about this on social media earlier this week and so many great suggestions about candy corn, you guys. Um, oh, candy corn with peanuts and candy corn with caramel and candy corn with popcorn and, um, lots of yummy ideas. All right. So this will be my pocket. And we will tip that in. Um, let's see, how tall? If we made it maybe like that tall, I think that would be good. So we can still see trick. So I also though don't want it to be, probably needs to be width wise. Um, maybe 4.75, let's see. Let's see how 4.75 does. I need it to be a little bit wider than this guy because it needs to be able to um, tip in. All right, that's good. So then let's see how long, long, tall, we want this guy to be. I think we want it to be about right there because I don't want it to go to the bottom of the page. So let's try this. See what we get. We are making a tip in pocket. So this will go like this. That will be good, okay. And now we need to make the other side of our pocket, the back side. So that, we'll just grab this out and have this be our little guide. So I think we said 4.75, right? Yep, 4.75. By, we didn't even measure this guy. Hmm, we'll just do this because it's not quite an exact measurement. Okay, all right, two sides of my pocket. Let's get as much of this out of the way now as we can so we have room to work. All right, so when we make a tip-in pocket, we will be adhering both of these together, back to back, right? So that when we turn it, that's right side up, that's right side up, that will be good. Um, I am going to need to come in with some adhesive and adhere Actually, I don't necessarily need to adhere along here because if we are tipping that in, the washi will hold that. So really, I only need right here and right here. So let's open this up. Rather than using my regular tape runner, I want to grab some double-sided adhesive tape because, oops, too thin. Um, I want this to be really strong and not come apart. So let's take some double-sided tear tape like that and like that. This is pretty thin. It's a half inch, no, quarter, quarter, half inch, quarter, <laughs> sorry, uh, quarter inch so that I don't lose too much room in my pocket. Now here, um, this would be a flat pocket. And what I mean by a flat pocket is isn't that funny? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going on the other side too because I didn't put it in the right place. Um, anyhow, this is a flat pocket. What I mean by a flat pocket is that when I adhere this, there's not a ton of room for putting candy wrappers in, right? There's not going to be a ton of room because it's flat. Um, here's a little trick. If you need to have a pocket that has a little bit more room to put things in, 
So it's there's not a ton of room there, but it's also a traveler's notebook, so I don't want it to get super thick. Um, if you want to have a little bit more room in your pocket, you can create a gusset. So if you think about, usually you see these like in a brown, maybe a brown paper shopping um, bag, not the kind with the handles that you'd get at the grocery store if you don't want to go with plastic. Um, this would be more like if you went to um, a store where they were putting something thin into. Um, the way that we would make a gusset for a pocket would be to, um, let me just grab, let's grab this. We'll just grab a piece of hang on, I'm just cutting something, cutting something for us to look at really quick. All right, so let's say this is our pocket, right? Uh, well, I don't want to do that yet. This is going to be our pocket, but we want a little bit more room to put more things in. So what I would do would be I would come in and take a piece of cardstock or scratch paper. And let me just trim this. Okay, and it's a little bit wider than I need it to be, so I'm just gonna come in. We don't really care what this piece looks like. All right, so I have the two pieces that are going to make up my pocket, and then I have this piece. This piece is what I'm going to use to make my gusset. Gusset, right? Gusset, that just sounds weird. Do you ever say a word and it just doesn't sound right, and then you say it over and over again, and then it sounds even weirder? Gusset. All right, so basically I just came in and folded that in half. Now, if I wanted, I could score it in half, or, um, but I'm just trying to be kind of quick here. So I just did that. Now, if I come in and I put adhesive on either side, the outsides of this, okay, so there's my little fold, right? I put adhesive on either side of that. Gusset, I know, rodent, <laughs> rodent, that's funny. Um, when I was in third grade, this is just one of those weird things we remember, right? We, I, total squirrel moment. Um, when I was in third grade, I got very interested in about, like, where do words come from? Like, who decides that a refrigerator is called a refrigerator? And literally, that was the word. And I got so, like, caught up in it. I went to the library, and I asked the librarian, like, I want a word, I want a book that explains, like, where words come from. And I'm in third grade, and she sends me to some section of the library that I had no business in, this huge book about Latin and word origination and all that, and that didn't work. So I never really did figure out where words come from. But um, yes, refrigerator. That was the one that just sounded so weird to me after I said it 100 times over in my head. All right, so... I now have my little gusset, right? I have my little, this is kind of like a little um, mountain. So I will come in and adhere it with the closed part, the peak of the mountain, I guess, if you will, to the edge, right? So it's like that. Then if I come back in with the other part of my pocket and put that on top, it's very sticky. Clearly, I'm just doing this very quickly. All right, so now let me just close it here at the bottom and close it here on the side. I would normally do the same thing on the other side because it would be weird if I just had one part of my pocket that was gusseted. But see here, um, now it has, it gives me more room because I put that little like hinge or gusset in the side, okay? So over here, it's pretty flat, but over here, it's given me that gusset, all right? So if we look at it like this, that's pretty tight. But that, if I had this on both sides, that would give me way more room for a pocket. All right, total segue, but um, the last thing I want to do before, with my pocket before I actually put it in, I am grabbing a circle punch. Make sure this is the top. It is. I'm grabbing a circle punch. This is a one and a half inch circle punch. And I just notched a half circle out of the top of that pocket. Now I'll come in, come in. So you guys, this is kind of a, a pretty involved list, right? 
Um, but this is also a lot of what we do, like I said, kind of crosses over into the memory keeping perspective. So um, if you had photos of yourself eating your favorite candies, you could tuck photos in the pocket. I'm going to tuck the little um, fake wrappers in the pocket. All right, now you can see I kind of cut out there. You can see part of that, but once I get those wrappers in, it'll be okay. Now, when I do the wrappers, I probably want to either make my wrappers two-sided or put wrappers, wrappers, not the kind that sing, um, the wrappers from your candy, uh, or the fake wrappers from your candy because they're photos. I probably wanna put them in both sides because um, we'll be able to see it from that side too, which reminds me, I need to come in here, do my little outlining. Like so, 12, okay. I just need to kind of keep an eye on the time. Um, not the kind that sing. Oh, yeah, I know. Crafting and relaxing. If you've been with me at all, you know that my head just says weird things. My head. My my mouth says weird things because my brain thinks them, and then they just kind of go. They just kind of come out. All right, so now for the washi. What do we want to use for the washi? Ooh, how about this? Um, you guys, I have some Halloween washi. I have had it um, for a year, and I keep... Um, meaning to put it on my website, and I have not. It is still not there. So if you need Halloween washi, um, I will put it on there tonight, um, and then you can get it. Uh, one thing I'll mention to you guys is, depending on what's happening at Lail by Mail, depending on what ha is happening here in our world, um, sometimes your orders go out very quickly, like the next day. Other times your orders may take like a week to go out. It just depends on how many orders are coming in and how many, um, how much designing that I also am needing to be done doing and how much Nick can help me. Um, not design, although you never know. Um, not design, but with order packing and things. So, um, oh, the whole reason I was saying that is because if you ever have an order that you want to add to, so maybe you place an order last week and then you're like, oh, I didn't know about the Hey Pumpkin paper because it wasn't in yet. I want that. Um, you can always add to your order as long as it hasn't shipped, as long as you haven't received your um, you know, shipping notification email. Um, as long as it hasn't shipped, I can add to your order. The best thing to do is to email me because if you say you want to add on your order and you tell me what you want to add, I can go in and add it to your order and then it sends you an invoice as opposed to um, you placing a second order and then paying for shipping again, or you placing an order, paying for shipping again, and then I go back in and credit it off. So easier that way if you ever wanna add anything. So what I did there, I just um, took some of that washi. You'll, you saw me kind of keep taking it off and putting it back on a couple times. I wanted to make sure that I had enough washi on the pocket to hold it in but then also enough to help secure it to um, the insert, right? And this is going to be a little bit, um, it needs a little bit more washi because it is trying to come around that entire area right there. So that's the first part of my tip in. Um, Kim is hilarious. Um, Kim speaks from experience. Kim said, you can add to your order every day or twice a day, just as much as you want. Um, yes, because Kim and I um, did that this week. <laughs> Kim, um, it's me, Margaret, right? No, that's not what it says. Um, when you sent that, Kim sent me a funny link to a song. Um, and I, it reminded me of the book, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. You guys remember that? Judy Bloom, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Um, oh, that, you know what? Total squirrel moment, but guess what? Uh, I think that would be a fun list. Um, and that could be a take on many lists. So if we did like favorite books, and that could be like kid, and that could be like teenage, yeah, and that could also be adult. And that could also be um, the boy's favorite books like that I read, and those were mine as a kid. Anyhow, um, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Um, yes, and then Kim, it's me again, Margaret, the song, that was crazy. Okay, so here we go. There's the first part of my tip in. Now I need to come in on the back side and do the exact same thing. So it's adhered partly to the, um, actually I'm going to cut this first. It's adhered partly to 
whatever it is I'm tipping in, and then it's adhered partly to the insert itself. So it's a little bit harder to do this, this late in the book, because I have so much that is happening on the left side. But there, there we go. There's our little tip in. Uh, yeah, this is going, that, I'm gonna need to work with this a little bit more. I might have to do a couple layers of washi just because there's so much room that's happening here. So I'll give it one more go and then um, if not, then I'll just mess with it later. Because so I think I may need to mess with it later. I know it's hard for you to see what I'm doing because my little fingers are in the way, but. Oh, holy, it's windy out there. All right. Okay, there we go. There's my little tip in. Remember, I'm going to add my little candy to, my candy wrappers to this little pocket. All right, so now we have our list. Halloween candy, and I don't think I need to say favorite because um, it'll just kind of be obvious. Uh, I might do a little journaling down below that explains that this is my favorite Halloween candy. So let's see what we have. Um, Ooh, scary good. That would be fun to put at the bottom there, right? Wouldn't scary good be fun to put at the bottom? I think that would be fun. Um, no more trick or treat though, because we have lots of trick or treat going. All right, uh, we better do the top first before we get to the bottom. Okay, so let's see if any of these say anything that we might be able to use up there. Oh, look at eat candy, that's good. Ooh, this, keep calm and eat candy. That one I sure have to use. That might just have to go right there, I think. Right there, keep calm and eat candy. Oh, can you see that? All right. Keep calm and eat candy. Okay, so, uh, oh, and the candy corns, you know those are going somewhere. Um, oh, there's just so much fun stuff to use. This is fun. Let's see, where are we at? Where did we go? All right, I'm going to do that. And this is partly going to go off of the um, list and that's okay. So, oh, actually I don't have to trim it. I was going to trim that off, but it'll be okay because it will go, it'll be fine right around there. So that'll work, okay? Uh, now let's see. So Halloween candy. Um, there's lots of Halloweens here, right? There's a lot of things that say Halloween. And if I want the emphasis to be on candy, then I could, oh yeah, not enough room for that. For sure, not enough room for those stamps. So I think what I will do is let's find a we might just use the black. Uh, now there's a couple blacks I could use. So I'm gonna grab this one and grab this one. Because again, oh, or this one. I don't know, that could be cute because it's totally whimsical. The Beetle Sunshine Stickers. All right, so I know I want it to say Halloween and then I'll use candy with some kind of black alpha. So Halloween, Halloween, I could use this Halloween. I'd have to cut part of it out. I could use that Halloween, that Halloween, but those are both black and I probably don't wanna do two of those blacks together. So what may work? This guy. Now, um, I don't want it to say happy Halloween. So I think what I'm going to do is this. Happy can stick around. I'll put happy back on the sheet because I'll use that for something else later. And then I'm going to, because now I don't have the black right here all the way around it, I'm just going to come in and do that. Cut that little border off. And this is pretty whimsical font, right? on this sticker, so if we do that, and if we do like Halloween right there, uh, we're going to employ scatter 
because I don't want that to stick all the way down. So he's going to, he's, he never works. We're putting scatter to work today. Halloween candy. Okay. So you know what? Let's try this. Let's try our, where's the ruler? I think I might try this again. Uh, do the same thing that we did before. Where's my tweezers? All right, do the th same thing we did before where we put it that will help us to place that. I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's a little bit further down now on my ruler because these are so thin. C-A-N-D-Y. Now, uh, I think it, I think this will work. I think it will work because... I don't want the title, this part of the title to be um, less wide than that, but I think the word will be long enough that it will be okay. Um, so, and I don't know if she's here or if she might be watching it later. Um, I received a fun comment this morning from a woman who actually, I believe, commented on one of my Lister's Got a List videos. So um, at the end of this video, end of our listing videos that we do every week, I have um, always have a link to my listers got a list um, flip throughs. And those were the um, lists that I did like five and a half years ago now when the reset girl, um, Corey Speaker was doing um, listers got a list. Anyhow, um, she, this woman had watched the videos and you guys, it was so sweet. She said, she left a comment and said, oh my gosh, I just found you on YouTube. I'm just finding these videos. I'm going to watch every one of them. And she said, I am so happy because, oh, that I didn't quite get that where I wanted it to. Um, she said, I'm so happy. I love to make lists. Oh, golly. I love to make lists. I thought I was always like this weird person. Um, and now I know there's other people like me. And I thought, oh my gosh, yay. I love to hear that. It just, I love to hear that. Um, so I haven't responded to her because I didn't have time this morning, but I need to respond to her and make sure she knows to come hang out on Saturdays because we all love to do it, but it was so fun. I thought it was so sweet. Okay, Halloween candy. All right. Um, there's something that's bothering me. Um, here's what's going on here, you guys. I may switch it and I may not. I won't switch it now. I may switch it later. And if I do, then I'll talk about this next week. So um, even though this is about my favorite Halloween candy and Halloween comes before candy, um, this looks really off balance to me. The reason it looks off balance is because this is all open and airy and this is all solid and not airy so if i change it i will flip these so candy will be up here and halloween will be down here so we will see if um we'll see if we do that hi sandra your first time here welcome okay favorite halloween candy you're not the one that i was talking about that um just a second ago are you i don't know Okay, here we go. So here's the start of our list. Uh, all right. So my favorite Halloween candy. I have my list over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have my favorites and then I have the not. Okay, there's one that's not. I may add it to my list. I may not. Um, I may not. <laughs> um, all right, so what I need, I need... Uh, normally what I would call like little bullets, like little, deep, 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 you know, and I think what I'm going to do, if I look at the sticker sheet, I have these little things like this, like that little guy, like star, 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 stars, little bullets. I have enough things I think to do, use those little stickers as my bullet points to name each of my favorite candies. So, uh, let's just do that. I think we'll start, no, we won't start with that one because that's too close to uh, that. So we'll start with one of the, the gold or silver. Um, actually, this collection, a silver holographic foil. We'll do that one first. All right. Now, I said I had 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things on my list, but one of them is a not. So I may not, I may not use the not. So if I did nine, I really want to make sure I like the scary good at the bottom. I think I like the scary good at the bottom. So I want to stamp that first. That will help me decide where um, things go. I mean, how far I need to space those little guys apart. So let's grab that. Grab scary good. And then I'm sure, let's take candy. That's cute. Let's take candy from strangers. I smell children. Something wicked this way comes. Don't touch my candy. Oh, that's a good one. I'll use that somewhere. If you've never carved pumpkin, you don't know Jack. Resting witch face, which that's a good one. Oh, there's another one that says sugar overload. Um, these will be perfect. These will be perfect. These are, if you missed um, when I was talking about these earlier, these are Carrie Bradford stamps. Because, of course, we love Carrie. Okay, there we go. Uh, where is my little scratch paper that I had before? Oh, here we go. Karen, you stole from your sister when she wasn't looking. Uh, I stole from my kids when they weren't looking, right? If you are a parent and you have not stolen Halloween candy from your kids' Halloween bags after they went to bed, I don't know what kind of parent you are. Just kidding, but of course. Yes, we'd always steal like the good candy from the kids, especially when they were little and they didn't have a clue. Scary good. Okay, out! Cute, 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 cute. Now, I, I was going to use washi, wasn't I? Uh, before we stamp. I need to use, I think, this is another one that is new, you guys. This is a white grid. It's new. I don't think I linked to it, though, but if you search white grid washi, you'll find it. Um, I think it's also in the what's new. Ah! Too fast. Um, this is just a really good, like, neutral. I know, yes, Karen, you don't know Jack. Perfect for a spread about my son. Oh, this is something funny, so I'll tell you guys this while I'm tearing my washi again. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, love that white grid. Um, oh, so Sam, Sam has been trying very hard to grow. Well, his facial hair growth just doesn't really, not much happens, but he's been trying hard. So yesterday he comes up, he goes, mom, mom, take a picture. Well, the little hair that he had on the side of, um, on the side of his face, he cut into like um, lamb chops, you know, like um, Roy Orbison lamb chops. And he goes, take a picture and send it to Jack, his brother. So I took a picture and sent it to Jack and then he went and cut, you know, shaved the rest of it off. But then last week when we were doing um, the listing about nicknames, I mentioned that Sam, or J Jack calls Sam Lamb Chop. So I, when I sent the photo to Jack, I said Lamb and then Chop in uppercase. That was kind of funny. Okay, um, so Karen, or Kim, it is, um, it's not really sheer. Um, I know it's hard to see. It's not really, I mean, really, you can't really see through it. So it's a little tiny bit sheer, but not really. I don't know if that helps or not. Um, all right. So I think then I also, oh, I know. Um, I can use this number label tape because these are like the numbers of my favorite candies. So I think we will put this. Okay, that you cannot, no, that you can't tear. Don't try to tear it. It literally, you guys, is that tape. I mean, it's like literally what it is. Like when you look at the back of it, let's see if you can see that. You can see the little, yeah, you can't, deboss number on the back. Anyhow, uh, I think I want this to go right about here. There. Okay, now, so you just see a little bit of that grid. Um, now I realized as we were talking that this does not have to go right here. I don't have to lose room because if I do that, I'm going to lose the room for some of my lists. Um, what I can do is this. 
I'm going to take what's extra here, what's left over. Ooh, don't get that on my shirt. And I will stamp like so. Okay, and I will come in, let me just use my trimmer to trim this off. I should have my little trimmer out. It would make it a lot easier at this point, huh? There, oops. And about right there. Okay, so there's Scary Good. So now Scary Good can go right here. Hmm. All right, so if you notice there, could you see that? It was a little bit too low. So we'll just come right back in, peel these guys off. I was starting out low because I thought that um, that was going to go above it, but it's not going to go above it now, so that can go back down, and then that will be good there. And actually, I will move that again because it's still not low enough for where I want it to be. That will go right there. Okay, so that's also, and I think we've talked about something like that before as well. If you ever make a boo-boo and you're stamping and you stamp directly onto something, then just do something like this. Stamp again and then adhere it over the top. Make it look like you meant to do it. All right, so then this will just go right there. Cute. Okay, now I saw something in those stamps that I thought would be super cute. Um, the little crow. So let's see what the crow looks like. Stamped. Uh, it's, this will be interesting because I'm gonna have, like um, for this, for our listing today, I have Halloween. I'm gonna have like the clash of two holidays because as soon as we're done here, well, not long after we're done here, then I will go to um, Christmas with the December documented class. All right, let's see. So I'm just kind of going to pretend since that was there. Let's just see what that will look like. I think that will be cute up there. Yes, okay. Ooh. All right, we're going in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it go right there. Okay, so I had that little guy go over part of the scary good. So part of it didn't um, stamp all the way, so we'll just come in with my little black pen and fix that right up. We don't want the bisected crow. Okay, there we go. Now if I wanted, I could also come in because these are just a little bit thin. Uh, well, not thin, but a little bit. You can kind of see the paper through. So I'll just come in and color those in a little bit too. The magic of stamping with black ink and a back Sharpie. Okay, there we go. Um, hi Cass, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad, if you're new, I'm glad you popped in and said hello because sometimes I think um, new, if we're new, we're, we're kind of worried about popping in and saying something. Um, always new people, um, always people that have been around for a really long time, super, super friendly bunch. All right, so nine. Now we can go in. Now that I know, sometimes you guys, it's really more about the decorating the list, right? Because if I only have room for eight, then guess what? One of my favorite candies just gets not, it just gets knocked off the list. Okay, so let's grab a few more of these. One, two. This would be fun too, the yellow one, the yellow star. One, two, three. Um, two, three. What else do we have here? More stars, more little things. I guess we'll just go every other one since that's pretty much what I have. One, two, three, four. Some are bigger than others. 
Ooh, come off. Uh, you guys, we won't be making it to the third list today. I can already tell. Um, we'll just do that one for next time. One, two, three, four, five. That's okay. Six. Uh, I need another sub one. Come off. E, come on. Right, did I say nine or eight with the no? I better count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So something like that you could use, um, you know, all kinds of stickers for, whatever you have. Um, sometimes I use little hearts like um, we did that. Actually, we did that on two different lists where we used hearts or where I used hearts. So those are the gold puffy um, hearts from the Avenue collection. Used those there. And then um, let's see here. These are the um, centers to the hole reinforcers from the tab sticker tablet. So I used those for my little bullets. Um, and then right, oh, here, I use little red heart stickers. So um, pull out whatever stickers you have if you wanna have little bullets and use them that way. Okay, so the number one favorite of all time Halloween candy is, drum roll, candy corn, right? Um, why always so controversial? <laughs> okay, um, the next one. Mimi, that's good. Numbers from the Carpe Diem number, number sticker talent. That's another, you know what? I always forget about those. I always forget about those. So let me show you guys what Mimi's talking about. This guy. Um, this is the number sticker tablet that you'll also find on my website. This one has 2,149 number stickers. So um, you'll see this one is, is well loved. It's all the pages are falling out. But so different types of um, numbers, different colors too. You know what? I need to remember this for next time um, because are some good, good, Mimi, I'm glad you said that. Um, anyhow, you can kind of get a feel for all the numbers there. So I need to, just bear with me for a second, you guys, because if I don't do this, then I do not remember. Um, okay, so for next week, I need the numbers. Okay. All right, candy corn. Um, little side scroll for a second. Uh, oh yes, the Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups. So good, so yummy, right? Now, like we talked about before, if you, um, if Halloween isn't your thing, well, really, let's be honest, right now, other than candy corn, I mean, candy corn is a Halloween candy, other than that, any of the candy on here could just be my favorite candy. It doesn't have to be Halloween. So you could do the same list without it being Halloween. Um, the one that was on my list next, uh, not sixlets, not. Um, I am not a fan of sixlets. And those are those little, oh my gosh, peppermint patty. Debbie, are you gonna make me now take one of the lists off, one of the items off of my list to put peppermint patty on? Maybe. I might have to put that on. Well, I'll put it off to the side and then I'll make a decision. I love peppermint patties. Or junior mints. Junior mints. Junior mints too. Those could be two. Okay. Um, sixlets. Those little sixlets, those little round balls that um, taste like they're wax, a wax coating. Oh, you know what that just reminded me of? You guys remember the little, um, like the wax, little wax, like, looked like soda bottles and you would bite the head off of the bottle 
but you wouldn't really eat it because it was gross. And then you'd drink like the little juice outside of it. Yes, Colleen, like the wax lips. Oh my heavens. Smarties, Debbie, I have to ask you. Smarties, US Smarties or Smarty Canadian Smarties? If you did not know, those are two very different things. Uh, US Smarties are like the little colored sugar things. Um, Canadian Smarties are kind of like M&Ms. Candy covered shell, chocolate covered candy shell. Um, all right, oh, Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. Banana is the best. The banana Laffy Taffy, I love Laffy Taffies. Orange Smarties, oh my gosh, that's funny. Karen, all the Smarties taste the same. <laughs> uh, all the Smarties taste the same, that's funny, in my book. Um, who? Halloween molasses candy, that sounds good. Lost a crown to Laffy Taffy. Yes, you have to be very careful with Laffy Taffy. Oh, rockets are what we call, okay, rockets. So in the US, Smarties, in Canada, rockets. In Canada, Smartie, um, in the US, M&Ms, kind of, kind of. They're kind of like a mix between M&Ms and Sixlets to me, okay. You eat them enough to know the difference. That's funny. Well, you probably eat them one by one. If you grab a handful and throw them in your mouth, you think they all taste the same. Oh, heavens. All right. Oh, this one. Jolly Ranchers. Uh, I love Jolly Ranchers. Uh, and that's definitely a kid thing. I haven't had a Jolly Rancher in years. Jolly Ranchers. Um, Jolly Ranchers for me, it's a toss-up. between cherry and watermelon. Not fire. Absolutely not the cinnamon fire kind. Not fire. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys something about me that um, very few people know. Uh, this could have gone on my list about, um, what did the list of random things about me that we did a long time ago. I have something called a geographic tongue. I know that sounds really weird. A geographic tongue. Um, my tongue looks like it has all kinds of little valleys in it, uh, which I know sounds really weird. Uh, Sam has it. Nick has it a little bit. Um, it's definitely, I think, a genetic thing. But um, if you have a geographic tongue or um, if you know anyone that has, there are certain kinds of food that make it really hard to eat like cinnamon bears, like um, red, red hot, red hots, um, big red gum, uh, fire Jolly Ranchers, uh, anyhow. So can never be fire for me. Um, cinnamon fire, green apple, what's wrong with me? Um, Tootsie Roll Pop, nerds, I know nerds are good too. Look at all these, oh, I, okay. Nerds were not on my list, but nerds are going on my list right now. You know why, nerds, um, how cute are the little tiny boxes they come in. Now, I don't mean the little tiny ones, like if you go to the, to the store and you buy a box of nerds, that's not tiny. Like the ones that come in the little Halloween bags, the little boxes of nerds that are like that big. They're so cute. And you just rip off the lid and in their mouth it goes. <laughs> oh, too funny. What were those? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Debbie, I can't believe I forgot those. Pop Rocks. Okay, my list is now totally changing. Pop Rocks. Loved Pop Rocks. And you'd like pour a lot of in your mouth and then the like exploding, um, exploding little candies in your mouth. Okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, now I've got to now I've got to get really particular about um, what I had. Um, okay, almond um, joy. Yes to the nuts, and I have to say that because you know the song "Almond um, Joy's Got Nuts." Mounds don't because sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Yes, I always liked Almond Joyce with the nuts. 
Um, you guys are killing me. The Fun Dip. Oh, it's on there now. Was not on my list. Fun Dip. Um, a bag filled with sugar that you dip the stick in. A candy stick in. I mean, get right? Isn't that so funny? Here, basically, here kids, have a bag full of sugar and you can dip this candy stick in it. Uh, Peter Paul Almond Joys. Um, I haven't heard that version of the song. Uh, I'm missing all kinds of things now, let's see. Pixie sticks. I loved pixie sticks too, because you just rip them off and and, you, and then sometimes they had the the pixie sticks that were like the really long ones, like two feet long, and it was like a big plastic thing. You had to cut the top off and oh, I know, right? There's a lot of candies that we could add to our lists. All right, the very last one. Now, what is it going to be? I think it's a blow pop. Blow pop. Candy sucker with bubble gum center. That basically you could eat the bubble gum for all of about two seconds and then you had to throw it away. All right, there we go, you guys. Halloween candy. So fun, it's all, I love to do lists like that because it's so fun to hear everyone else's things. Now, um, the Junior Mints that I wrote down did not make it to the list, the Peppermint Patty Junior Mints, because all those other things came up. Look at Nerds, Pop Rocks, and Fun Dip were not on my original list. I also had on my original list Almond, oh no, um, Butterfingers and Sour Patch Kids. So Butterfingers, um, you know, that was funny because they'd make a giant mess because you'd bite into it and the whole thing would crumble. All right, we can go ahead and um, add this guy in now. So you guys, these two lists, and, and lately it seems like our lists um, usually are like an hour or more. The lists take a while. Now, not all of your lists have to do that. We have fun, we hang out, we chit chat, we laugh, I get way off track on different things and squirrel. Um, so if you are just kind of starting to join and you're like, oh my gosh, I could never spend like an hour doing one of those lists, that would be crazy. They don't have to take that long. They can if you want them to, but they don't have to. All right, so here we go. There's our tip in. I'm going to come back and add the little candy wrappers in there. Um, I may come back later and add something just a little bit up here, maybe like a word strip sticker or something. But I think what I will wait to do is, I think I will wait to add uh, my little candy wrappers in there first. Ooh, Ferrero Rocher. Um, I think it's candy, isn't it? Oh, Kinder Chocolates. So Kinder Chocolates, those are the little eggs that I think in the U.S., and it may have changed, but in the U.S., at one point, you could not buy Kinder Chocolates here because um, they would say choking hazard. Um, sometimes we get a little, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We get a little um, litigation crazy here in the U.S. <laughs> and um, yes, so um, I don't know if you can get them anymore, but there were little toys in the middle of the kinder eggs and people were worried that little kids would choke on them. Uh, all right, so maybe one more thing. I think maybe one more thing before we end. I might put something right in here, maybe a word strip. Um, these are from the new, I think these are called quotations. These are called quotations. Ooh, the gold could be kind of fun. Let's see if we can find something. Um, tell your story always and forever. Uh, it could be true. One of a kind, maybe. May smitten would work. Um, own your story. That actually kind of works, doesn't it? I'm owning it. These are the things that I love, and I don't care if you like candy corn. Um, if you don't like candy corn. Mm. All right. Um, this, I'm not going to put this now. Um, and I'll tell you why, as I kind of move this around, that this does not seem like it's working for me. Um, I have this blank space up here. I'll figure out something to do. I might put something, I might not. Um, but as I look at this, this is not working because I already have this black sticker down here. And that kind of just looks too matchy-matchy. If I put that over here, then I kind of have this going. So for now, it is off 
the table. Once I get the once I get the the um, the little candy photos, uh, the photos of the wrappers in there, then I will kind of figure out what goes next. Ah, I know what I need to do. Um, probably would be to date it, right? So the date could go right there. Um, maybe this one. This is that Heidi swap. Oh, or uh, maybe this one. This is the DIY shop. So let's look at this. Uh, so DIY shop roller stamp and the Heidi swap roller stamp. Uh, let's see. Those are um, online on my website as well. So October 10th. Let's see if we do this one, maybe. Because these have um, different little words and phrases here that you can turn to be next to it. So Monday, Tuesday, okay. Photograph, don't forget, created on. Hmm, created on could be fun. Let's see where that is. That would be number 11. Okay. Created on. Mm, I don't know. Maybe don't forget. Let's see. Let's just test it and see what we get. Let's look and see what we end up with. Where did my little paper go? Oh, here we go. Remnants of lots of different lists from our stamping. Oh. Hang on. Let's turn this guy over, but when I do that, Let's hope that doesn't get everywhere. Don't forget. Okay. Um, because I don't quite know what that's going to look like. And I once I'm in, I'm in. I got to commit. So I'm going to do this. Here's another little trick. If you're not sure if you're going to like where something is stamped, stamp it, cut it out, and then lay it right over there and see if you like it still. What I might find is that there's not really enough room. Um, so I don't love that right there. And it's too wide to go over here unless I did. Yeah, you know what? Um, I am going to leave the list as it is right now. I will eventually come in and add the, um, the date, but I'm just not sure yet. I really want to get those little late, um, little photos of the candy wrappers in there. And then that should give me some direction on where I go next. Um, you haven't seen Vicky in here today. Um, Vicky, 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 Vicky Booten, Vicky or different Vicky? Um, okay, guys. Oh, Jack! I didn't even see that Jack was here. Oh, if you're still here, hi Jack. Goodbye, Jack. So sweet. Um, so you guys, Jack is blood golem. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, here, let me do this. Let me. I am. Um. Uh, um getting ready to uh, flop this, flip this. So um, I'm turning the camera now. Beep. Turning the camera and turning off the lights because nobody needs to be, no one my age needs to be have those bright um, lights in, on them, in them. All right, friends. Um, so I gotta be careful not to fall over on what I'm standing on, like my trimmer. Um, all right, you guys, so that there's another Saturday and that's like two and a half hours. We only got two lists done. Um, or you could flip that and say, oh my gosh, we got two lists done. I got two lists done. I'm thrilled that I got two lists done because this is my creative time. You may have been listing, you may have been scrapbooking, you may have been um, cleaning your house or doing the dishes because people do all the things, right? Some of you just have me on in the background and your family is like, oh my gosh, it's that crazy lady again. It's Saturday, I forgot. Um, and some of you may be doing some other kind of craft and it's all good, right? You do you. You do whatever works for you when we get together on Saturdays because um, it's just like our fun friends get together and craft. Um, all right. I will, a couple things that we need to remember. Um, we will not be doing next Saturday. Next Saturday, which would be um, October the 17th, 2020, because I realized you could be watching this at any time. Uh, next Saturday, October 17th, 2020, I will be teaching um, all day next Saturday and next Sunday uh, for a store. So we will be doing our Saturday session Friday night instead. That would be... Friday, October 
um, 16th. Gosh, I have to do that math in my head. Friday, October 16th. We will do um, that. I will send out, I will do my very best. No, I will not do my best. I will send out the email on Thursday, the day before. So you know where, well, you always know where, but you have the link and you know what the list topics are. So we are going to list again next week. If you missed kind of the beginning, I mentioned that we will now kind of change to three listing a month and one memory keeping a month. But we'll still talk about memory keeping as we go because that's what we're still doing, adding photos and things like that. But primarily list driven uh, three weekends a month and one uh, memory keeping in our traveler's notebook. Uh, so watch for that email. Um, if you don't receive my emails, I have linked in the description of the video uh, how you can, you basically go to my website, go to layallbymail.com. And then if you don't receive my videos, a little screen will pop up and say, hey, sorry, if you don't receive my emails, a little screen will pop up and say, hey, sign up here. Um, everything I've used for the most part, with a few exceptions, you can find in the description of the video links to. Um, remember, if you guys are sharing your lists on social media, um, tag me. So tag Lael Concar. Um, you can also use the has hashtag um, listing with Lael or hashtag list with Lael because I love to see your things. Those of you that aren't on social media, sometimes you send me your lists via email and I love that. I love to see them. So please continue to share. You can also share um, on Facebook. So I have um, a Lay All By Mail Facebook page, but I also have a Lay All By Mail Facebook group. The group is private. You just have to ask to be a part of it and I will accept you. But we have some people starting to kind of share their lists in there and their memory keeping or whatever. And I always encourage you to do that. I want you guys to share because um, I think it's fun for other people to see uh, what you do or what other people do um, based on list topics that I put out there. All right, friends, um, one last time. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Super important. Leave me a comment after the video is over. Let me know um, your name. Let me know that you are watching. Let me know what your favorite Halloween candy is. With that said, I know a few of you I will be seeing very shortly. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, um, an hour and 23 minutes. I will be seeing you um, for my December documented class. Um, if you bought the kit, I'll see you um, here on YouTube, um, gosh, in an hour and a half. All right, friends, thank you once again for joining me for Saturday, for giving me an excuse to get out my crafty things and um, be crafty for myself. So thank you, thank you, and I hope to see you next Friday. Okay, friends, bye-bye. Be safe.